I've been training in Muay Thai probably about 30 years. Being a, a, a crew and being in a Jean is something I didn't ever think I would feel something from, but I really do. Not every great fighter can teach, and not every great teacher can fight. I think I just had a really good understanding with the fighting side of it. I like the technical aspects of it. I'm like that head game thing. It doesn't sound very technical, but how do I trick this person? How do I get into their head? How do I make them do what I want them to do? I'm always trying to set something up. I'm always trying to dissect something. And I try to get my fighters to do the same thing. I looked at my teacher and he was the master. In a thousand different ways, he was the master to me. You know, the way he carried himself, the way he spoke, the way he taught lessons. And lessons aren't always a class and punching and kicking. There's various different lessons in life that you learn from a master. It's not all about how you throw this jab or how you throw this punch or this kick. You're always teaching in some way, shape or form. You're still kind of doing something to help somebody. To me, being a good instructor, you try to see um, their strengths already. Everybody's got a gift. Uh, it, it can be anything. Everyone has a gift in some way, shape or form. And my thing is to enhance that gift. The things that are weak, we can work on those, but I got to make the, the gift stronger. Bring the leg over the top. There we go. I look at him and I said, you know, this person is pretty good. And also, it's uh, after when he start to teach. And I look at the, all the video and I hit fire. He is perfect. And also, it's, uh, it's probably better more than a lot of the, the Tam Thai, you know, the training. What do you think makes him a great instructor? I think it's uh, to understand the art. He do, he understand, I understand the culture, and he is a good athlete to himself, yes. You know, that's why it's easy for him to learn. And not that, it's easy for him to teach, because the student always look at him, in sample, you know. I can see some students just move, just like the way he moved. The significance of my promotion, I don't even know what to tell you. It just came from left field. I happened to be at a show. Jean Chai came up to me. He was asking me a lot of questions, and which I thought were just regular questions. You know, he was saying, how long have you been training now? I've been watching you a long time. You know, I've seen some of your fights. You fight very well. I've seen your fighters fight at shows. I just thought it was just general conversation. And then at the end of the conversation, he goes, okay, no more crew. Ajan now. He's still not realizing what he's really saying. And then he said, okay, I'm coming to New York in a week's time. You have to meet me. I'm doing a seminar. You have to meet me there. And you have to do ceremony and you're going to be called Ajan. I think it's a good instructor. I just not just teach the art. It teach the student how to be disciplined. That's why I think Ajan feels very really good yeah. to me. And I always see people and always talk about him tonight. You know, I, I just... Not because I just keep the, okay, you be, I'm going to give you this. You know, I've been watched for a long time. Yeah. It's been for a long time teaching. And he's the best instructor one of them in this country. Not just the best instructor, he's the best fighting too. Well done, you guys. Good job. <laughs> well, I said to my wife once, I said, if I ever found out I was dying in like three days from now, I still teach. Just loving that people are coming into this for the first time and actually having just one fight and being like, yeah, I did it. And like, that's what I'm, that's what I'm just happiest. When I see somebody else have the success or just reach a goal, whatever it is, if it's one fight, a hundred fights, whatever, I was happy for that. Show sure, the heart. Yeah, we need to never show the heart. It wouldn't stop me being a teacher or trying to help people and that's, I feel God put me on this earth to teach. I'm always rolling, so you never know what to expect. Don't roll this. Take this. This is um, off the record. Off the record. Off the record.
Ah, I'm done. <laughs>